And welcome to another three string song lesson. So another absolute classic here for you today. This is Albatross by Fleetwood Mac. So this is the original Fleetwood Mac lineup that had uh, Peter Green in the band, a great blues guitarist from, I think this is 1970 or late 60s when this was first released. So we are in the original key so we can play along with the original song, which is EBE. -E. So there's an E. There's B, and there's an E. So really nice, sort of slow, gentle tempo, um, some great riffs. Works really nicely on three strings, which is good. And um, if you want to play along with the original song, or if you, even if you just want to know how to play the complete structure, you can download a completely free song chart from the site. So link above or in the text description below and um, that'll just help you to see what the sort of full structure is but I reckon let's just get straight on with learning the song so this song uses the major pentatonic scale there is a sort of explanation video which is looking at um, this scale uh, in relation to the songs that we used on the major pentatonic demo video but just as a quick recap you can check that out if you want but just as a quick recap we've got an open position scale so it's open E fret 2 fret 4 open B fret 2 fret 5 so that's remember pentatonics five notes one two three four five that's an octave. I can carry on across like different strings, play it up. So you can check that video out if you want. But basically, uh, straight on with the song. It's an instrumental, so we are. There's a nice little uh, chord sort of hook which keeps coming back in, a nice little sort of chord motif, and then there's some little sections of melody which use the major pentatonic and it's structured around that switching between the, the, the chords and the melody largely speaking so first of all the chord first chord we, we can just bar at fret 5 but we can just play the top two strings so not the low E and then we can drop to fret 4 so quite straightforward hopefully This song is, is pretty slow and it has a, a shuffle to it. So straight away, if I play the low E with those, we get an, a nice sort of rich sound. But uh, rhythmically speaking, it goes one and two and three and so I don't know if you can hear that like a, a swung slow shuffle has an uneven so it's like long short long short so it goes one and two and three and four and so it comes back in again before we finish the bar so four, four beats in a bar one and two and three and four and two three there's a single note that leads you back into the chords and with this tuning it's really handy we can just play an open B string middle string so it actually starts with that as well and that note is on the fourth beat in the bar so it would be like there's the fourth beat one two three four one two three four start again one two three one two three the riff 
is going to come in just at the end of that uh, fourth bar so it's it's sort of a, a pickup leading you into the, the main riff section just check that very quickly before we get into the riff so we've got a single B and then there's the little bar two three four one two three four Now I'm doing a little bit of palm muting on the bass string there, just to sort of separate out the, the, the sound of the bass and the chords, because uh, on the original it's full band, there's actually three guitarists and a bass player and a drummer uh, on, on this particular recording. So the bass player is actually doing that so we're, we're, we're kind of combining a little bit uh, some, some of the different parts and it actually works pretty well on, on, on this so just to make it sound a bit more bassy let's get a bit of separation between the chords and the bass line and moving swiftly on to the riff we go there's a little pickup So that's just open B, fret 2 on that middle string, high E, back to fret 2. And then a little slide up. Now we're going to change chord here, we're going to go for what we call F sharp which is fret 2. Now, I could bar it, but I, I get a bit more control because I'm actually playing, partially playing um, notes from the, the riff out of that chord shape. So I'm actually going to, if you if you can use three fingers, fingers one, two, and three, just straight across fret three, that'll actually be quite handy. And so to get into that, we're going to do a little slide up just out of... I'm going to use my third finger to slide up to four you can start from fret two or even fret three like starting from fret three is fine back to two and without releasing that letting that ring out I'll introduce the bass there So, two, three, couple of riff notes in the middle on, on that, we've already got fret two on there. So play those twice, do that same slide again, back again, hold it, let it ring out, back to the bass, and then those middle fret two notes again, and then after that, And then there's there's a little kind of uh, riff at the end. So after after we've gone back to the E chord, so so we're starting on E, but when we're, we're just playing the open um, E string, that's that's an E chord. Then it's going to an F F sharp. Um, it'd actually be an F sharp minor if you were on six strings, but obviously we're we're adapting it. So this this is a F sharp power chord. But when when we go back to it's, it's back to E in the bass, so it's gone back to an E chord. And then, just to finish off, we go two, and then two open notes on middle B and high E. So, I'll go the last time round the chords. Two, three, and four. onto a F sharp middle string, 
slide, let that note ring out, middle string, keep that one. I'm just going to put a tiny bit of reverb on. There's a nice long tail, as you call it. So there's a bit of space in this, but I'm really, really kind of filling it out. And there's a lot of really lovely reverb on the uh, original as well. So this is just the last time round. reverb off so uh, it then goes back to the chords again so uh, that's four, four bars on the chords and then we're into the next riff now incidentally because this is a shuffle rhythm uh, and it's quite slow as well uh, we're, we're actually playing a few triplets so that just gives us um, three notes per beat so right at the beginning it's one of the riff two three a uh, four and a uh, or two three uh, one two three so on, on beat four there at the beginning we've got a triplet and then it's one and two and, and then uh, you, you play through as I've just explained and right back at the end of the riff two three triplet Okay, and so that, that we're going to use those triplets quite a lot uh, throughout. Back to the chords, riff number two, start it the same way, third finger slide up, there's the F sharp. This time I'm going to get higher with my riff. So this is still from the major pentatonic. So I've got these three, second finger on the middle string, and so I'm just going to go all the way up to fret nine with that one. So, and then seven, nine. If I can finish with my third finger here, I'm back into the uh, F sharp chord in the same way, drop down with um, fret, from fret four to fret two. So, start the same way, but then straight up to nine, four, two, hold that note, and then two, open, two on the top string, slide into fret four, and it's changing chords, so I'm, I'm going to fill it out. So I'll go around all of that again. So the pickup is the same as the first riff. Two, three, up to nine. Slide, use finger three there if you can. Back to three there. Stop finger three that is at fret four. And then finish off. Open two. Sorry, fret two, and then open string, fret two on the top string, just slide from there into four. And then right at the end, you can, so, so we're just trucking along nicely on that low E, and you can just play fret two, fret two, and do a little pull off. Or you can pick it if you want smoother to do a pull off okay so we've got two three 
three into riff two. Triplet there. Two, three, triplet. Three notes there. Two, three, triplet. Now, definitely practice this a section at a time because it is quite challenging. But uh, we are on to the next part, which is the um, double stop section. And um, this is where there's there's two two guitarists playing together, and they're actually bending and putting vibrato on, but. Uh, we, we can't get quite the same sound, but we can play it all together by playing two notes next to each other. So I've got fret five, fret seven. Now you've got to get a bridge. I've been uh, I've been doing this with someone in a Skype lesson, and and, and they're finding it that slide quite difficult. So you've got to try and glide. Don't be too sort of heavy, but you basically slide in from frets 5 and 7 up to 7 and 9 on the, the, the higher strings. So that's a quick slide up. I'm going to strum through both times. 2, slide up again, then back to five and seven here that's four and five or five and four and so I'm, I'm going to use different fingers fingers one and two and then I'm straight back into that slide up to seven and nine again so you've got one two three this is a triplet and then just hold back for a whole bar very similar again. Two, three. Apart from the second time, uh, instead of just doing this after the triplet, one, two, three, first time just a single slide back up to nine, seven, and nine. After the triplet, the second time you can do a double slide back up. Try that quickly. So it is a slightly awkward hand position. When you're sliding around, you've got to move your thumb. You've got to stay relaxed enough so that your whole hand position moves around and you don't stay like planted because it will make it a real nightmare. You've got to be able to keep bridging so you don't catch string one as well. So it's two, three, two, three, four. Two, three. Okay, I'm kind of holding, propping this up a little bit, which is why that thumb wasn't moving as much. Try not to play it like that. And then <coughs> it changes chords. So, so that's all over E, and it changes to F, F sharp minor. But uh, we're going to struggle to fret this note because we actually want to play up here. So there's always more than one note in a, a power chord, there's two notes, and um, instead of playing the, the, the F sharp down there, we could we could play this fret 9 up here. So that's a, a C sharp. And then what we could do is we, we could uh, just swap over and now use fingers 2 and 3 at uh, one and two sorry so that's on nine and seven and down that to five and seven and then that gives you the impression of the chord change now that is a bit of an awkward stretch. Uh, again, when I was doing this in, in a Skype lesson, the person was finding that pretty tough. And so we, we just kind of ignored the chord change there. 
and it doesn't sound as good but you can get away with it you, you can still just keep trucking away on the, the, the bass string so, so if you were gonna just stay on the bass string it's slide from seven and nine down to five and seven twice and then down to slide down to um, five and four and what 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 you can do there is you, you can slide down and try and keep this one on but you're going to be swapping fingers so it's a bit funny but if, if you just try and give the impression of the slide even if there's a slight kind of separation and then right at the end hit fret two as a little bar back to seven and five back to five and four so without changing chord as in without changing bass note we've got and then down to five and four So it's one and two, three, four, one and two, three, four, one and two, three and four and so it's and four and just let that tail over. With the chord change, using fingers one and two, one and two. Three, four, one, two, three, four. We're done with that now. One, back to E. Okay. Now, for guitar three guitarists, at this point, there's a very short little slide solo. Now he's right up here. Uh, we're, we're playing it fretted, so you can just. Play, basically play it um, I think probably two octaves lower compared to the original so you, you can slide into seven and then you can slide into nine back to seven this is all on the top string two up to four do that twice and then the other Peter Green takes over again and it goes and it's, it's, back, it's changing chord there um, but ju just before we go to that I'll, I'll play it with the, the, the bass added so it's one two three that was a triplet one two three one two three four two three And then here, five, four, open, two, with the whole chord on. Do that again. And then five, four, two, open. So the Peter Green part is five, four, open, two, twice, open, and then it goes five, four, two, open, two, three, and it goes two, two, open. slide part in the original one two three and then Pete Green takes over four two open three fingers on that four two open 
and then four to open. Okay, back to the chords, you know those. And then finally, it goes into the um, riff again. And uh, it's just a combination of stuff that we've already done. So I'm just going to play through it very, very quickly and slowly. And you, you can hear, hopefully, how uh, it, it's just combining some of the uh, elements from the first two parts of the riff. So here's the last time round. And then in two, two, three. So it starts the same as the first riff break, but go up to open, uh, fret four, straight up to nine, and then turn around back to F sharp, to open, to open, back up to F sharp, uh, sorry, fret nine, and then back to F sharp, and then to open and it finishes on that fret 4 note just finishes on an E, e chord at the end I'll do that again from the final time round the chords 2, 3 so there's your F sharp starts the same as the very first lead break, but go to oh, uh, fret four, right up to fret nine, back to F sharp, two, open, right up to fret nine again, two, three, Okay, so that's it. Um, hope that's useful. Hope you find that fun to play and uh, hopefully you can see it works really nicely on three strings as well, particularly in this EBE tuning so we can play along with the original song and as well as downloading the song chart from the site, if you're interested, you can download uh, a reference sheet, reference PDF sheet for chords and scales in this EBE, but also DAD tuning. So just, you know, useful to have for a whole bunch of songs that like we've been looking at recently and uh, help support the channel as well. But that's about it. So have fun and I'll see you here again very soon on Coda Guitar.